right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. As you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team. And that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different app, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now we can see his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Dynamite. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world class. Oh! Ah, that jab hurt him. Oh, just opening up on him now. So fighting a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hands a big right hand early. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Tonight. McGregor's now dealing with a cheap cut. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, nice shot. Straight to the body there by McGregor. 
big off the punch land. That will get back to range. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Huge block there. All oh, collar tie. Now connects with the right. Just over three minutes to go now. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. Not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Looping left hand misses the target. Changes the angle. Oh, oh. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Plants a nice one, too. McGregor goes to the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Again here, but hurting. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, so a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, dynamite! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.